Hey what's up everybody my name is Trophynet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Dead March difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and uh, today we're gonna do a little special kind of quest called There Can Be Only One. But before we start off with that I want to say something else. Uh, I want to apologize for the, the dry spell the, few, uh, the last few days. Uh, that's because I moved to a new house. So that's why I, I took a bit of time to set up uh, everything in here. And of course, we uh, I lost some time with the move, of course. Uh, that's also the reason that the audio might sound a bit different. I'm gonna try and fix that in the coming days. But for now, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. But today, we're gonna start off by investigating the Isle on Lac Salavi, which is uh, French for uh, lake uh, that's life. Salavi is a French uh, expression just to say, well, that's life. Um, and I think this quest is a tie-in to one of the books. I'm not gonna spoil too much, but if you read the books, you might know what we're up against. So, let's check out the island around here. There is talk about a test of virtue. And uh, let's check this out. We need to investigate. So I'm just gonna take a quick look around, see if we can find anything of interest. And there seems to be a man at the center of this little island, and there's something glowing over there in the water as well. I'm walking on water. Oh. Just like. <laughs> like who? Like a pond skater. Who are you thinking? <laughs> no matter. I suppose you thought nothing else in life could surprise you, eh? Wrong. Okay, hello, Mr. Herbert. Hermit. Yes, indeed, we're walking on water. That is uh, spectacular. He was probably referring to Jesus here, but uh, let's talk to the hermit. Hello, wake up. Hey, happen to know how the hell I can walk on that water? Naturally, I know. Since time immemorial have I dwelt in solitude on this shore, and I can testify to the extraordinary nature of the lake. What's so extraordinary about it? I mean, besides the fact that you can walk on its surface. A sword, most wondrous, lies in its depths. Oh yeah, there's I a sword down there. It. The blade may be grasped solely by one who possesses the five chivalric virtues. Folk call me a lot of things, but virtuous? I don't know. Yet Maybe we are. I do know, for I know who you are. You have proven yourself capable of great sympathy. You, Thank you. are a man of honor, as many can attest. Of humble means yourself. You show generosity to others. Your valor is the stuff of legends. Reason guides your actions, as it does those of all who are wise. You have proven the five chivalric virtues dwell in your heart. You mean the okay. sword's mine? I yeah, can indeed. Can we just it. take the sword? The sword deserves the hand of a master. You must prove your skills are worthy through combat atop the water's surface. Are you ready? Okay. And that means just fighting something? I'm ready. Anytime. Then draw your blade. Yeah, he will. I hope he will, because sometimes he starts fighting with his fists first. Oh, what's going to happen? So now there's a... Oh, dear. Oh, no, another mage, another Gatton. Okay, there he is. So it took a bit of uh, hangman's venom. Ooh, gold. Okay, now he disappeared again. I think, yeah, he's right over here because it's poison cloud. Okay, that just went white. Was that enough? Even worthy of wielding the blade, beyond all doubt. Okay then. Looks like he's going down the water now, because we're probably not able to reach it. 
Did his hair just change color? It looked black and gray before, but now it looked almost white. What is going on? Behold, your Arundite. And suddenly, oh, hi. That looks like We've a pretty nice sword. Before. Uh, yes, indeed. Certainly, the hermit admitted he knew you. Remember? The Lady of the Lake. Indeed. It is I. Forget not that you are a man right and honorable, devoted to doing good, and for these reasons you received the blade. Now bear it. And I trust oh, look, this time two wolves. you shall not lose it. <laughs> there's two wolves at the, the haft as well. Okay. Thank you, Aaron died. Just wonderful. Oh, and now we drop down. Embodiment of the Five Virtues trophy earned. There we go. The Hermit at Lac Salavi. Okay. Is, is that it? That was an easy quest, though. Just took care of the Hermit and then we get a sword. So let's check out. Is there anything else in this lake? I'm just swimming circles here, but. It looks like we can actually go down a bit. No, nope, never mind. I'll uh, check out the quest log and I'll meet you guys at our next quest for today. So we passed a cave a while back, I think what it was when we were heading towards Castel Ravello. And uh, there's a cave here when, with the uh, people that need our help. I'm first going to check out the sword we actually got from the Lady of the Lake. Aaron died. It's actually a silver sword with a lot more damage than we have right now. Each blow generates charges which increase sword damage by 10%. Charges are lost over time or when receiving damage. A, few, a fully charged sword always deals critical hit damage. Killing a foe with a fully loaded sword will expand its charge to permanently increase the weapon's damage. Damage is increased by 0 to a maximum of 10 increasing along with your character level. Interesting. I might actually use that for a while. Because uh, I don't really need the 6... Uh, Witcher gear bonus for the bombs are thrown without any delay. Don't really need that. The oils are uh, plenty nice enough. So yeah, let's use that sword for a while. Aaron died. There we go. And let's talk to Count Baladal. Lads, I find your concern touching. I do. Yet I've long awaited this day. So you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah, it seems my guide has arrived. Which guide? Greetings. Greetings to you, White Wolf. Uh, I presume you saw my notice? <laughs> Foolish question. You're here, thus you must have seen it. Forgive me, I should introduce myself. Count Belladal, a great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. Not something we witchers hear often. But Count, sir, do you mean to go off with just this witcher? Did right we actually find this notice? No I'm not really I'm sure. sure. But your expedition's too risky on the whole. And not taking us with you, pardon my saying it. Right daft. You exaggerate, Vilma. I believe I can manage to survive half a day without someone there to wipe me ass in my stead. <laughs> my God, I kind of like this guy already. You must forgive them. Now, to get down to brass tacks, as you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I've a rather extraordinary proposition for you. Okay, I'm a then. Lover, witcher of nature. <laughs> a devotee of the wild. And Toussaint is home to several species not encountered elsewhere. I'd like you to accompany me on an expedition whose aim is to uh, preserve them. <clears throat> you want to preserve wildlife uh, yes. and you're taking a witcher. Uh, naturally you'll protect me should the need arise. My ever vigilant guards, see, will report any reckless behavior to my wife if I get so much as a scratch. And then woe will be me. Oh, poor man. Um... Tell me more about who you are exactly. Count Famous poultry farmer, is that it? <coughs> well, that was my grandpapa. Dear man. But my trade is the wine trade. I import the finest vintages to Kavir, my homeland. The very Does anyone in this place do something else Claire, than uh, produce uh, wine, like actually? To, uh, partake of nature, let us say. Really need a witcher to uh, partake? Got guards of your own. Take them. Save some coin. I could, surely. But they too deserve a bit of rest, relaxation. Right, lads? 
Besides, I've plenty of coin. Coin that needs spending. Who dares stop me? Well, I won't ah, stop you. So this is about a rich man, bored stiff, seeking thrills. There's also Clarissa who... Vilma, please. Who what? <laughs> uh, my Ooh, daughter. his daughter. I thought it was his wife. I always return from my travels with some souvenir or another. She looks forward to them tremendously. <laughs> but uh, we did not meet to chat about my family. We must discuss our venture, must we not? I feel like there's something else wrong with his daughter, but hey, what's this job entail exactly aside from guarding you? Say anything. Where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna. And while we do, I might preserve a thing or two. Preserve? Of Keep something device, for himself, see, probably. Uh, a parastysomac. It, uh, it captures uh, likenesses. A Paris as to what? It's like a movable it's a camera. capturing moments, transforming them into illusions based upon which I then paint a painting. So, you want me with you, looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. Uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to capture. I know only the very approximate locations of their habitats. So well, we're gonna be National uh, Geographic for the next ten rise. minutes. We'll have your sword at the ready, right? So, agreed. Uh, my pay, yes. Let's Pretty haggle. Usual contract. I couldn't agree more. Yes, and I'm prepared to pay a commensurately high fee. Don't mind if we actually talk about exactly how high that'll be first, do you? Why ever would I? Please, simply tell me how much you wish to receive. He's a wealthy man, right? Oh, that's actually pretty low. Uh, let's go to 270 to start. Sublime. Okay. That was easy. I'll take the job. Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime. In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. They located the habitats of the species of interest to me and marked out their ranges on the map. Good thinking. It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? I'm afraid we'd do await the morn. Proper light, see? It's very important. In the meantime, be my guest at my fire, sir. In fact, I'd be delighted to hear some tales of Witcher life. I think it just started to be morning, but hey, never mind. Um, why are you using a torch in bright sunlight? Never mind, the next morning. Probably 20 minutes later. Well, the wide and wild world. Look begins. at that. Right now is perfect. Okay, that looks a bit silly. Okay, check on Baladol's map. Okay, I checked out the map. Seems uh, I got the map. So big I'll leave. Game hunter. Uh, lead? Oh no. Escort Count Baladol near the Panther's Lair. Of yours. Giant <laughs> centipedes. Oh, it's deliverance gold. to emerge from under their wings. Believe me, they're overprotected, oppressively so. I wish to admire the wildlife, preserve it, not watch them kill it in a fit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? Then we shall have no other recourse. I do not wish to be something supper. For you, but as long as they remain calm, we've no need to provoke them. It's, it's of the utmost importance to me, in fact. Okay then, so this is where the panthers live. Oh, and there's a bear over there as well, so... Let's go with Quan. I'm gonna equip some uh, beast oil. There we go. And let's go attack a bear. Panthers around here. No! Hunting, what are you doing?! I'm attacking the bear that's attacking me. And there goes the bear. There we go. I want to have something happen to the, the poor count now, can we? Is he hiding down below here? Okay, use our witcher senses to find the panthers. Looks like there's two right over... Oh, okay. Let's take it easy then, since we want to photograph these guys and not kill them. 
Hello? Hear that? Deer, I think. Incredible. Sharp as a razor, you're hearing. Okay, so yeah, those are deer, but... Don't really find any panthers, though. Ah, okay, so the deer were a distraction. Now we need to move further. And there should be hear panthers that? right over there. Panthers. Frankly, I did not hear a thing. Clearly, your senses are far more acute than mine. I must there they are. On them. There they are. You want to take pictures? Just, just take the pictures. Take, take the pictures. Why aren't you taking pictures? Jesus Christ! Come on. Damn poachers, snares. Looks like they were hoping for a bear. Panther got caught instead. Okay, so let's calm the panther with oh, Axie. Brilliant. You freeing it. That's brilliant. You freeing it. Now it's calm. Don't call witches heartless. This will put the light in that. Oh my. I, I failed to warn you. Apologies. The Paris Dysimac has an added lantern. You must look away or it'll blind you. Oh, Paris great. Dysimac Thanks for the, the animals. <laughs> Better get out of here. Thanks for the, the warning, mind, dude. Coaching. Content you share my love for animals. Okay, so that was an easy way of dealing with uh, with Got the planters. Interests for a man of the city. I suppose I double in my share of things: wine, nature, painting. I imagine the life of a witcher must be rather more monotonous. With all due respect, it is never boring, though. Uh, I, for one, cannot fathom only ever consorting with the same creatures, day in and day out. Got a wife? Okay, that, that just ended on the question, do you have a wife? Apparently. So now we need to... Oh, okay. It's those... Uh, Centipedes. Giant. Underground tunnel burrowers. Make a distinct sound. We can use that to track them. This one is going over here. He's moving rather quickly. Uh oh, Sounds and we reach here. a monster it nest. Must be near the nest. We're here. Well, this so no I just good. added a bit of a insectoid a oil. Here. All right, wait. We'll find you a better spot that's safe too. Tread lightly. Giant centipedes sense the softest sounds, the lightest vibrations. You wake one up. It wakes up angry. So let's put the count over here. So this should be a here good maybe. place. Distance seems right. Light's not bad either. Yes, this will work perfectly. Okay, and now do I need to trigger the centipedes down on my own down there? I need to lure them out. Give me a minute. Need to think. Vibrations. Gotta send some through the ground. Try tossing a bomb or casting a sign. And you watch out, don't get any closer. There we go, bomb in this one. Bomb in this one as well. So that should take all of them out. Where are they? Where are they? Wait. Uh, we've disturbed the, you, you what? They're still attacking me. Ow. Can we can we go? Excellent day for capturing Mopa. Thank you. Truly magnificent that was. We can move on now. Okay, I didn't kill any. So that's good, I suppose. Can I loot these things? Doesn't look like I can though. I'm just gonna return to the count and escort him to wherever he wants to go. Probably go home. Exhilarating. Positively exhilarating. Thank you. I have one more request. Local peacocks performing their mating ritual. I'd love to see that. Apparently, a flock dwells not far from here. We can go. Just don't count on peeping at them while they mate. Season ended a month back. Oh, that's terrible. I so wish to capture their splendorous tails in full bloom. Is there nothing you can do if they prove uneager to present? 
perhaps challenge them somehow? Goad them? What did you have Stay in mind? Wind. Don't have a tail myself, and I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. My thoughts were more along the lines of Witcher magic. They say you can exert influence over lesser creatures. Uh, yeah, guess I can try. Can't promise you anything, though. Splendid. Consider me contented. Uh, I cannot pinpoint the flock's location, but a hunter I know told me a few likely spots. I'll mark them for you. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. Okay, yeah. Let's lead the count to the place where the peacocks live. Apparently killing them is bad, but mind controlling them I isn't. I was wondering, why peacocks? My, my daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. Okay, that sounded weird. We're close. Eyes in the back of your head. Uh, I don't see any peacocks, Carol. Oh, what's this? A An odorous peacock feather. In suet. Cock shed it recently, and the suet's got a distinct scent. Ought to be able to track the flock. A witcher in action. What a treat to watch. Okay, where where's the? Oh, there's the smell. Okay. Here we go. I can hear them already, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Shh. Hear that? And there they are. Calling to each other. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. There's a lot of them. Okay, so let's go with Axie. Lovely. No. Just splay the tails. Oh, See yeah, okay, do. never mind. Find a he's, good spot. He's running through them almost. Ready? So wait until he's ready. Use your magic, Witcher. Okay. Oh, well, wow. Then that, that apparently has that effect. Oh, this will be a masterpiece. Smile, that looks please. kind of weird. That looks, oh, wow. Giant centipede. Damn it! Where okay. did they come from? Must have followed us. Get back! Oh, this is gonna hurt. Where are they? Ow. Oh, turny turny attack. Blinded? Blinded by what? By my axe? All over now. Okay, that was easy. That was, that was tense. Uh, I believe I've had my fill of excitement for today. Glad you did. An excellent day for capturing moments. So that's it then, I suppose. What a wonderful adventure. Get everything you wanted. Yes. In that case, time to get back to your camp. And I don't hear him arguing, so that must be the end of the quest then. Returning An eventful day. You. Safe and sound. You've our gratitude, Master. You see, You're Max, welcome. There was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our day count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. Is he gonna die right now? Because that's kind of weird that he needs to leave. <laughs> Not your boss don't need to suck up to me. Uh, something wrong before, your yes life. indeed. He was feeling down. Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarissa's is her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions he makes now, or rather, paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. That explains a lot, actually. Sorry, so his wait. daughter was uh, crippled was dead by a horse accident. To observe you in action, to confirm for myself there that the tales about you were not exaggerated in the slightest. You show discipline, reliability, responsibility. <laughs> I dare say you'd make the ideal business associate. That's a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. We actually do have a vineyard, by the way, so reward. might be useful. Thank you. Seven experience points.
In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Of course we would. Sure, why not? Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Francola. I'll be by. See ya. Okay, thank you, Count Belladon. That was great. So now Big Game Hunter is not yet complete, since we have to wait until noon tomorrow to go to that picnic. But I will have to wait until an, the next episode, because I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye!